What I'm uh, been asked to do at Bent Arrow is uh, do some Nakoda teachings on medicines. And these are, what I'll be talking about are common medicines, and then by, uh, by leading into it, I'll be doing uh, the, a holistic, give you a holistic perspective on medicine. As a, as a like a person that uh, uh, like is asked to do ceremony, I'm I don't actually I'm not a healer. I'm just people. I'm s somebody that shares how to let people heal themselves, and uh, so that's what I share. Initially, somebody would uh, approach me with tobacco. And uh, with that, uh, toba because tobacco is one of our sacred items, uh, as uh, Sioux people, uh, tobacco, we believe, was given to us by the white buffalo calf woman at, uh, in, in, in shape shifting to wh white buffalo. And from a long time ago in our, in our belief system, uh, through that and uh, through uh, Wakantanga creator, uh, she was given tobacco, the pipe, ceremonies, teachings, medicines, uh, rites of passage, all those things were given to her so that they can, we can, and then she told, taught us all that. And that's how uh, the medicines came to be through, through her. Uh, so I'll go into uh, some uh, perspective on, uh, on holistic, holistic uh, medicine. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's your relationship with Mother Earth. It's, uh, and along with that is your relationship with yourself. This relationship is, uh, is your personal, personal self. Because in order for you to, be, to share something and to be able to help somebody, you need to be able, to, you need to sort of start looking at yourself first. And then you need to sort of uh, heal yourself because uh, you can't, uh, like the saying goes, you can't offer what you don't have. So you need to learn to love yourself. To love yourself, you need to so accept you as you are. You need to uh, for forgive yourself for all the things that uh, in the past that you may have regretted or all the things that, uh, uh, that have unsettled you. Uh, and you need to sort of forgive yourself for that. And then you have to purge all those negative feelings of guilt, shame, fear, Anger, jealousy, and you need to, uh, and through, and you do this through ceremony. Um, uh, I'll, I'll talk about some common medicines that I teach here uh, in in the cultural teachings. And uh, the basic are the, there are four main uh, smudge material that's used here around in this area, and. Uh, I'll show them to you and uh, name them. They're all medicines for other purposes as well, but most people use it for smudging. And so I don't have the full plant, but we have some some clean leaves of uh, what we call bif buffalo sage uh, or bison sage. Tatanga ink porn, we call it in my, in my language. And this one, I believe around here, there's about 37 different kinds of sages, but this one in particular is the white sage. And uh, so that is one of the sages that we use for smudging. Uh, some people use different kinds of sages that are sometimes, uh, one is called horse sage, which I don't have any. Another one is, uh, uh, that's popular around here is, uh, California sage. Uh, actually, all these medicines I'm showing are, I say, uh, common because uh, you can go to Halford Heights or some crystal stores or pawn shops or uh, Western Ride, like stores like that, uh, where they sell indigenous products, and you can actually buy them. So that's why I'm calling them common. And so, sage you can buy in these stores, and you can also 
get a smudging kit with sage in it. Back to, back to the four items. The other one is sweet grass. Uh, sweet grass is another ar aromatic like uh, smudge. And this is all like, uh, there's, uh, I only know of one species, uh, but this grass grows among hundreds of all other grasses. And, but you have to know, and you have to know what to pick, when to pick, where to pick it, and uh, how to st uh, dry it, how to store it in order for, and how to use it, uh, when to use it as well. So there's a lot of teaching involved with uh, this uh, sweet grass. It's rated in three, so it represents your, your uh, mind, body, and, uh, and, and spirit. And then when you light it, it's all holistic. And sometimes uh, all these medicines I'm talking about will be mixed with other medicines to alleviate different kinds of ailments. Another uh, medicine is that I found, uh, quite popular around here in the north, and this a lot of people in the north use it. And this is uh, fungus. And, uh, but this in particular is uh, diamond willow fungus. And diamond willow fungus is, is kind of difficult to find. And it's high up uh, in large diamond willows, uh, more in more moist areas. So sometimes you, uh, it's like you have to wade through water and all this in order to, to get to it. The other one, uh, one that uh, is common around here, but it's mostly, and I can't so leave, but uh, a lot of people would know that. And uh, we use the leaves of it, and it's all, it's, I don't know if you can actually see it. Uh, it's. And this is cedar. In particular, this one is from the red cedar. Uh, but we, uh, I think it's all the cedars, we just use the seam. And that's another one of our smud uh, smudging uh, material. Uh, but for the people that uh, use it, uh, a lot of people use it for, uh, as a tea for uh, various reasons or as a mixture as part of a tea. There's four main things to why, uh, to why we smudge, and uh, that's to sort of to cleanse your spirit. Like say you're going to do a ceremony, or maybe uh, let's go, let's say you're going into a meeting or something, or, or you're in a meeting, and you're cleansing your spirit. You're also grounding yourself. When I say grounding yourself, uh, I mean to be present here, to be focused on what's going on, because uh, some people maybe had something happen to them earlier that day or well, was a week before or sometime, it's still on their mind. So they ask, uh, because sometimes it's hard to get away from it. So they ask when they're smudging to be present. Or sometimes uh, somebody's been there and there's something that's going to happen in the future. Uh, maybe for a student, it might be an exam. So that's on their mind. But, but uh, they're in a meeting, so they need to be present in the meeting, so they ask to be present. And that's the grounding. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the other one is, uh, it's, uh, it's been found that uh, the smudging is actually antibiotic. So uh, it's scientifically been proven to be antibiotic, so they're actually cleansing the whole uh, area of actually physical material. And the uh, fourth one is your uh, sort of cleansing again is uh, cleansing the negativity in the area for more positiveness. When you're smudging, we believe there are four parts to everything. Four parts to a person, a plant, a rock, or whatever it is, there's four parts to it. Those four parts are the spiritual, the emotional, the physical, and the intellectual. Uh, and uh, so when you're smudging, you, you, you light up the smudge, 
and then you start to take some in the aroma. So that's your addressing your spiritual part of you. And then you take some into your heart. That's your emotional. And then you wash some over your head. And that's your intellectual. And then like your brain, your mind. And then you wash some on your, your body. And so that's the basic process. Smudge. There's no right or wrong way to smudge, yes. And these are the common medicines. Uh, one of the most common uh, one of the medicines that a lot of people I start to use, and it is our medicine that is uh, the cure-all. Cure-all medicine for us is, uh, is rat root. And this rat root is used in every mixture, in everything that, that we come. And whatever ails you, whether it's emotional, spiritual, physical, you can use this, is what I was told. There are different grades. Uh, uh, like this one is kind of a little paler than this one. And from that you can, this, is, this one's a lot stronger than this one. And you can tell by that. When you're, you can use this, you can just chew on it, take a bite off it. Or you can uh, use it in a brew, which is what I was doing it. Boil it for 10, 15 minutes, either by itself as a tea, or you can grind it up and make a tea with it, or just as the whole root. Uh, some people you know, put it in their smudge mixes and then uh, light it up. And uh, so it's our cure-all. <laughs> that is uh, rat root. Some teude in our language is uh, is Labrador tea or muskeg tea. Sindarpe, mm. our language, and that's another tea, and that's sort of uh, it's uh, it's more uh, used for as a tonic, just as a filler sometimes. Uh, a very concentrated strong amount is actually a sedative. But the, we, we, yeah, that's a very strong, <laughs> not the kind that's going to be used in the tea, not the amount, but it's more like a, a digest, digestive tonic. The other one that I was putting in there is uh, uh, this, this uh, particular kind of mint. There's a lot of mint out there, but this is the one that and I guess you can't really sow that uh, because it's all dried up now. But it's mint. And, and that is... So I mentioned, how many, I mentioned three. Okay, this uh, together with that uh, cedar, I have the people sampling. And that together just makes a, uh, it's a sort of a digestive uh, calming in calming the digestive system as, as a tonic. It's not a cleanser, it's just a tonic. And you can just use it as everyday tea. So that uh, sort of about covers what I, what I talk about here.